Good morning, Belen. I'm Enrique Sori. And I'm Alex Dominguez. And welcome to this edition for WBLN for Wednesday, May 15, 2019. The seniors' final days are here at Belen. They will be attending the baccalaureate mass with their families. The seniors get to walk down the nave with their moms. This is a special t tradition between moms and their sons. The mass starts at 7.30. The registration for the middle school, JV, and varsity athletics award ceremony and banquet is now open and available for purchase. Tickets will be only purchased online through the Belen website. The JV sports banquet will be held on Friday, May 17th at 7.30 p.m and the Varsity Sports Banquet will be held Saturday, May 18 at 9 a.m. You must wear gala uniform to the ceremony. When NYPD officers tracked down a Florida man wanted in connection with a murder in Miami Beach, they had no idea they were intercepting a possible serial killer. Michael Fresco has more on the story. Two New York police officers are being credited with catching a Florida murderer suspect on the run. 32-year-old Nicholas Gibson is suspected in the murder of 77-year-old Eric Stalker in Miami Beach. Police in Florida had notified the NYPD that Gibson was headed to New York City, and Sergeant Roger Coleman and Officer Estefany Rosario recognized him as he exited a subway train on Sunday. Gibson put up a fight before he was taken into custody. As a result, Officer Rosario is recovering from torn ligaments in her hand. Also, authorities believe Gibson could be a serial killer. After being taken into custody, they say he confessed to being involved in six additional murders in Florida, Georgia, and California. I looked at the flyer on the phone maybe 15 minutes before and there he is he steps off the last car of the L train coming from Brooklyn he walked right to me and then I see uh, officer Rosario and I'm I look at her hello and she kind of knew right away For WBLN news I am Michael Fresco good morning Belen here's your scoop for today the junior class has an intramural tournament for ultimate frisbee during homeroom in the gym. The chess club will meet from 3 to 4 p.m. in room F203. That's your scoop for today. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports after these messages. Good morning, Belen. Here's your weather for today. So today, we're going to be seeing temperatures at 80 degrees, with 50% chance of rain and a 70% humidity with thunderstorms. Moving on tonight, we're going to be seeing temperatures at 73 degrees, with a 40% chance of rain. Now, going on to later this week, we're going to be seeing temperatures in the mid-80s, with thunderstorms until Sunday. That's all for weather, now on the sports. Thank you, George. Here are your sports for today. The Golden State Warriors played the Portland Trailblazers, where the brothers Steph and Seth faced off. Steph Curry got the upper hand while making nine threes and helping his team win 116 to 94. The varsity baseball team faced off against Pembroke Pines Charter School. Our team got the dub 7-0. The, the varsity football team will play versus Clearwater Central in the first half and Cardinal Gibbons in the second half. Uh, game is at 6 p.m. and admission is $5. Get out there and support your Wolverines. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Ryan. Remember to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and Instagram. That's all our news for today. I'm Alex Dominguez. And I'm Enrique Sori. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay golden, Wolverines.